Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for more Songs of Seeks. I'm your host, Gil, and I hope you're all doing well today. The mountains continue to get dug out. We're almost done. Yeah. Look at that. <sighs> so now it's time that we build the nursery. The nursery is a dangerous thing. And I hope I am ready for it. Because the nursery decouples population growth from... Hmm... I decline. Yeah, we're... fully up to snuff here by the looks of it. I have a pile of equipment laying around if it comes to it. Like, yeah. If they want to fight, they want to fight. I'll be fine. Out of curiosity, what is the level of training that my conscripts do have? Zero. Okay. Fair enough. Either way, in that case, I'll probably have to deal with it with mercenaries on the map. That seems fair. Anyway, so as I was saying... Um... What was I saying? Oh, yes. If I can find the... Yeah, procreation. The nursery decouples um, happiness and population growth, which makes it extremely dangerous. Because with, you know population growth effectively being tied to immigration and happiness, you'd never, like, overgrow. So, yeah, that's the right way to put it. You never overgrow. And what I mean by that is, you know, you stop growing when your people get happy. Or, sorry, get unhappy. Which means, as a general rule, you don't get things like riots, or... Really anything else? Like, just in general, where people retain a certain level of happiness where you won't get negative events. Unless you lose services. But when you have, say, the nursery... Four hundred and two is pretty good. Um, you know what? I think we do more. Four fifty. Thirty nine percent. I wouldn't be able to block the uh, other things, would I? That's alright. It's time we go through and put these pillars down so I have enough room to expand uh, the building just that little bit more. <clears throat> yeah. So with the, with the nursery, since I keep getting distracted in the middle of my sentence, because it's hard to both talk and build. Like... Oh no, my population only has 60% happiness? Well, people are still going to have more freaking babies, and the babies in the nursery will keep growing up. And then everyone will be miserable, and then everyone will riot, and then... yeah. Now, the good news is... That... That oh, shit. It doesn't have to be that way if you're very good at math. Which is an oh no moment. I am good at math, but the question is if I want to do the math. 
because theoretically, as long as your nursery kind of keeps you below replacement rate, then you're fine, right? As long as like 90% of your population is met by the nursery, and then you can just rely on immigration for that last 10% and a bit of population growth. It actually usually turns out okay. But it requires some silly and precise math, unfortunately. That I'm not really equipped to do. all across here. 70% efficiency. We're getting there. No one said it would be easy. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's going to have to be a little something like this to maintain stability. Pretty dramatically able. Fill this. Alright, where are we sitting on? Only 83%. Alright. Unless I've gotten. Maybe I have. I've gotten a lot more uh, space than I realize, which is good. tell what the final will be given that I kind of like reclaim space as I go. Why is this blocking other items though? Gaps. Look at that. 100%, 450 cribs. That's what I like to see. Alright. Let's get to work. Now, here's the thing nursery alone isn't super great. We need to combine that ideally with the school. There we go. Uh, because the school has this advantage where it is four times as efficient. And towards the capital, are they? like 1,900 troops, but they also basically have nothing. Like, they have no equipment, no experience. I wish there was a way to, like, look through or sort
these guys in pretty much any way, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. So I like just some tilapi archers there. Any other tilapi archers? Tilapi multi. Plate armor seems to make them ridiculously expensive. And the worst part is, like, it's... Especially with my archers, in practice, the plate armor shouldn't matter. You know? I don't know. For some reason, these guys are good. Yeah, I guess they have 19% archery training. What makes you guys so expensive, though? 55% archery training? Yeah, fair enough. Thirty-eight percent archery training, but no archery or no bows. Yeah. The arrows in the night. Eh, I'll take you. Why are you? Why are like the only Dendarians I have archers? Ugh. Admittedly, I don't know if that's necessarily that much of a thing anymore. But, uh, you know, it would be great if I had, like, some very heavily armored Dendarians around here somewhere. No? Well. Honestly, yeah, you'll be pretty good. Alright. Yeah, and then maybe another group of, importantly, very heavily armored, like I want, you know, six or plate armor or whatever. Yeah, there's opulent oppressors here. Only 34% melee training, but I mean, they're at seven and seven equipment. So, we shall fight. The enemy just immediately retreated. Okay. And the capital is open. It keeps trying to make me take slaves. I mean, I feel like rebels should maybe not be allowed to retreat. And it's actually kind of weird that they gave the AI the ability to hit the retreat button, given that they also still have the AI get stun locked after battles. Like, the stun lock system, I think, made sense uh, once upon a time. Because, you know, it used to be that only you could retreat from battle, and so you'd, it wasn't, wouldn't be fair. Oh, hey, finally. 
You will lose zero men. Yeah, fair. Victory is ours. Alright. Rebel army destroyed. Disband. Okay. Done. But yeah. Eventually... I'll figure out how to get enough brew going. And, you know, enough clothes. And then maybe I'll actually be able to do military supply. That would be ideal. That would be ideal. Also, I need more markets. Food stalls don't really seem to do anything anymore, ever since, again, we got that restaurant. No no one uses food stalls anymore, which is fair. So let's we'll put in uh, the new market here. Because, if I remember right, we are definitely having service problems with the market. Yep. Yeah, below 50% even so, definitely. I need more hearths and speakers and stuff soon as well. In theory, I always need a new tavern. But the tavern is exceedingly difficult. Like, this is just, I just need so much tavern. Ooh. The university's almost done. The nursery is well underway. So in that case, it would be wise of me to build a school. Alright. Eight services. I think in practice, I actually only need a school that can handle one-fourth as many children. Um, because humans are fucking weird. So like 112, this alone is actually probably enough. myself yeah gotta fill in the gaps here filled in. Now I can place the shelving. So we're at 88%. The question is, do I want a second set? Yeah, you know what I do. Two hundred and fifty six.
that, it should also be more than enough, realistically. So yeah, the school will be four times as efficient as the university. Uh, although I think the school can only bring people up to 50% education. And I think there is, I, I'm not 100% certain what the limit is, but I know there is a limit to what the school can bring people up to. But yeah, uh, with this system, Basically, over the course of about a generation, uh, we will see our settlement quickly reach, like, 100% education. You know? He's got all the material. And now, let there be education. Three thousand search right now, nice. Unfortunately, I only have like 200 spare workforce right now. Although, in general, I think it's probably time I maybe improve my food rations. I think I can uh, go up to two without issue. <laughs> and if I got a granary, I'd be able to store a decent amount. You know, that'd be good too. I'm also interested in I think of 195 admin. You guys have paper. Because the university opened. Yeah, the learning rate is 1% a day. Ah. The school's learning rate will be 4% a day. Now, this is multiplied by, uh, like, well, yeah, multiplied by two since we're humans. So that'll give a learning rate of 2% a day. And that means in 50 days they can go from 0 to 100. Now, given that there is 16 days in a year, that is less than four years. So also known as really freaking good. No oh, thanks. Yeah, and they also like education, so. Yeah, it takes uh, basically less than four years to earn a degree. Uh, eventually the nursery will get done as well. Although that's pretty difficult. 
because we don't really have any spare labor now. I just kind of all ended up in the university. Yeah, how are we doing on that? Looks like it's kind of recovering. And I mean, so we'll see. Degradation 20% concerning. Might need another janitor. Look into it. But yeah, so that'll help. They're also filled by being in the library by the looks of it. We can see the education of our settlement slowly climb here, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's see, where is... Where's his education? saying more often. Yeah, I can't find his education level anywhere. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe under fulfillment? Oh, that's population-wide probably, unfortunately, isn't it? I thought I did, but oh well. Okay, so yeah, things are good there. We're getting some more workers in, which is nice to see. I could use some more of that. The university does not appear to consume paper, which is good. Hey, right, ten more administrators. Then we'll get our uh, admin level climbing a bit again. Because I'd be interested in purchasing Sinflick. Sinflick will give me access to jewels. Mm hmm. Do you guys generally show a pretty. Yeah, 590. You guys love me. So, if I wanted the region of Sinflick from your empire, what would it cost me? The answer is a lot, actually. Excuse me. I guess probably doesn't like me trying to offer more than I have. Yeah. So I would need about six hundred thousand change. All right. I mean, that's fair. This place does have, like, plus 2.44 gem deposits. <laughs> plus stone, but, you know, realistically we're going for those gems. Because if I can get gems, I can get jewelry. I think it also might be time to maybe consider bringing in Dendarians as well. Um, yeah. Because whilst I have administrators... I also will need people to work in my industry, ideally. And the Dendarians are best at that, you know? And they do get along with humans. So, they're, they're actually fairly friendly. Get along with a lot of people. And humans get along with them. So, <laughs> like, they'll have 130% output at my masonries. You know? 20% of my weavers. So, like, there's a lot of jobs that they could do better than the humans. So, I think it's time we allowed Dendarians in. 
Minus 104. Yeah, the tracks. Reproduction capa capability, 296. Interesting. Yeah, look, uh, I'm not really ready to boot up the nursery just yet. Sorry. Well, I guess I don't have a choice. I'm going to have to cut the employment at the university by half. Like, excess labor is just basically channeled into the university at this point to improve, uh, you know, our education and everything. So. Yep. Workload, 86%. I doubt that. Although, what I don't doubt is that I will need to be delivering uh, apples here. So, I'm going to start doing so. It's going to take a while, I guess. Yeah, as the city grows larger, I'm going to slowly start developing a logistics network, you know? gonna need it. There's already 155 babies. Before long, we'll have a school for them to learn at. Won't that be nice? time I set up a proper granary. Like, also, well, no, I don't have any furniture. I was going to say that I can upgrade the warehouses as well. I think, I think it's going to be time to set up a proper granary and actually start storing days of food. truth is most of the food will rot, but like, people fucking love it if you have excess food laying around. You just kind of got to accept it. And no matter how you slice it, the granary needs to be massive, and in fact I will probably need multiple. I have kind of talked before about the math behind it. But like, you know, if you have 10,000 people eating four meals a day, that's 20,000 food. And then you'll need 40 food days. That is 800,000 food for maximum efficiency granary. for example, can currently store 68,000. In order to have maximum efficiency for storage for a 10,000 person city, we would be looking at getting 10 of these, depending on how much the upgrades uh, allow it to carry. Yeah, 
so... Which obviously isn't a great setup, but there's not really any other way of doing it either, so... You know, it kind of just is what it is. Ah, uh, damn it. Well, this is actually probably fine. Yeah, you know what? If I do it like this, it'll be harder to access, but it also should be fine. I need to do a replace my crates. I guess I should find out. Yeah, we'll do it like this, so then it'll just be kind of hallways. Yeah. And I just need to make sure that this will hold it. It sure looks like it does, so that's good. Alright. Harder to access hallways, but like I say, if this is going to be a granary, most of the food just kind of gets deposited in here and then rots, so I'm not sure I really give a crap. This is just, in effect, a happiness generation building. Wow, we have almost 2,000 humans. My Dendarians are miserable, though. It's probably because they don't have housing. If I had to guess. Is like, I don't know, the Dendarians do have a house. Are you guys allowed to have furniture in your house? Well, you are now. You're also allowed, uh, yep. Yeah. There you go. So that should help. Hopefully. <laughs> another one there. Alright. Then... That's, that's as high up as I can get it. Not even... for another row of full-sized crates by putting in the pillars here. Actually, one of the things that kind of fascinates me about this game, though, is through the system of, like, pillars and that, you can put an incredible amount of effort into designing, like, the most efficient buildings possible. Obviously, I'm not really doing that, because to the most extent it's actually absurd and would means I would be sitting here for several episodes designing each building. 
and using a lot more math than I really want to when I'm playing a video game. But I can do it. And I always appreciate the option. There we go. Alright, yep. So we've managed to get a storage of 80,000. Alright. 80,000 food. I mean, in actuality, that's enough food for like us now that's 40 days of food so that's great we lack enough emissaries apparently which is strange given i have 57 extra people like a whole lot of odd jobbers they should just be emissary oh wait we're in the middle of a sickness outbreak aren't we i uh, yep yep we are Please stand by while everyone dies of... I wasn't even paying attention. I think it was the White Shimmer, which is probably pretty good because it's got low lethality. Yeah. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll just wait it out. As we do. Seventeen mm percent -hmm. education, yeah. All right. School is still very much under construction. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dendarians, tell me about why you're so freaking miserable. Fulfillment, you get none. Oh, I didn't. Darians actually prefer to be indoctrinated. Alright, well, first off, stop trying to learn. The Darians are too stupid to learn. So instead, uh, yeah, sure, I'll set them to indoctrination. Although apparently they're just walking in here with decently high levels of education. Which is kind of shocking. But I guess... I mean, education is better for their work, so, yeah, it, like, you know, I suppose we'll, uh, we'll allow it. Yeah, you're currently ill with the white shimmer. Don't worry, eventually our granary will be built. Looks like it's fine, yeah, it's coming down now. Bathhouses, wells, lavatories. Noted. Corpses, minus 18.5. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Alright, so after a few deaths, we're kind of just able to get back to work. Experience starts to come back. It reminds me, I actually don't have anyone employed in my stone mine, so I should probably try and keep uh, some spare people there. Mm 
the meantime, there's no uh, harm in trying to increase everyone's learning rate here. Every little bit of education helps, you know? Like, uh, when it comes to education, it is a marathon, not a race, so... Like, in general, I'm gonna do my best. But yeah. Alright, this episode uh, has gone on long enough. And... It's done great, actually. Like, our new granary is now constructed. We've got a nursery. We've got maybe a school soon. We're starting to let in Dundarians. Yeah. Just check. You guys, like... Oh, 75. Man, I forgot that humans are just racist now. They kind of hate everyone. Well, it should be fine. I hope. Because, like, the Dun having the Dendarians in here is super helpful. Honestly. Oh, uh, well. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I've been your host, Kevin, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, folks. Have a good night.